Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be popping in a little review of these CoverGirl uh, Simply Age Ageless Skin Perfector Essence, which is supposed to be a dupe for a Chanel one. And I have two shades, light number 20 and medium number 40. I'm not sure what, what shade I am, kind of in between shades. So I got both. I'm going to try to just do a color match on each side of my face. And I just have skincare on right now, so. All right, so let's see. I'm going to be applying it with this Bare Minerals Beautiful Finish Kabuki Brush. All right, so let's start with the light. All right, so let's just do one squirt. And that's what it looks like. Wow, that's very light. And it's supposed to be light coverage, so kind of a dewy finish, not matte at all. And basically it's for people who don't really wear that much makeup, but just kind of want to even out, even out their skin. So let's just put that, it's gonna look crazy, cause I'm gonna do half and half. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it, it's very brightening and light. Let's try putting one more little coat on. Okay. I have read that people prefer to not use any brush or a, a beauty blender, like just to use their hands to warm it up and, and apply it. Oh, that's very bright. Brightening, oh, that's pretty though. That is really, really pretty. Okay, put it like as a little base. Again, it's gonna look crazy because I have no other makeup on. But yeah, actually, I actually really like that. It wouldn't be good in the summer, I don't think, because you get a little more sun, but that looks good. Okay, again, that is the light number 20. All right, so now let's try the number 40 medium on the other side, and it's gonna look super crazy again comes out very watery medium like little beads little beads just like the oh wow and this is clearly too dark for me so we're gonna look really weird but that's okay because I just wanted to show you how it applies with no nothing but skincare on I do have textured skin I am 51 years old, so it makeup and foundation does look a little better on 20 and 30 year olds. Not that they really need much coverage, but sometimes. So I didn't start wearing actually foundation until, goodness, I think my 30s. <laughs> Crazy, look at the line. The line right there. Let's blend it out. Okay, we'll just see if we could just blend it out look not so crazy and I'm just moving the medium now over to here just to see and bringing it down your chin but it is pretty and I did do two pumps on the other side so maybe I should just go in with one more pump since I am putting it all over my face now I just wanted to show you the difference so let's just blend it all and if I had self tanner on or if I was laying out or whatever, this would work quite well, I'm sure. Or a squirt of each. Let me know in the comments below if anyone's tried this. Pros, cons, do you like it? Do you not like it? I don't know. I actually really like it. And it looks like I have some eyeliner on from last night still that it didn't properly get removed. But other than that, no makeup and mature skin with texture and some acne scarring and such. All right, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly because I am not a makeup artist or a beauty guru. So anyways, that's, you may be seeing a hot mess <laughs> or a clown, but um, I'm just using the my phone to film this so I can't really see what you can see probably but anyways that's the finished look um again let me know if anyone's tried this 
um, especially if you're around my age or older, how it performs on your mature skin. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.